I personally believe that the, the, the racism is the same. It hasn't changed. It still exists, but it is improving. And I'm very happy that that is happening. Uh, I think it is much more subtle now than it's not overt as it used to be. The effect of racism is the same, but the manifestation is different. The racism has changed from being racism to racial prejudice now. It's very subtle. It's not open. It's not blatant. But it is practiced sometimes by good-meaning people. But they are caught up in a system that perpetuates racism in a way that they cannot themselves dismantle it. It emerged was as a heritage of slave trade, right? Because at that time, people in this country uh, have never come across black people. Now, having lived with black people now and going to university, going to college, working with, that has gone. They don't believe that, yeah, there is any genetic difference, but prejudice is still there. People think that racism is no longer an issue. And therefore, the commitment, the enthusiasm, is no longer the same. They have this white uh, circle around them and think that people, with, uh, people coming from another part of the world may not appreciate and they will dilute their way of life. That is the first threat. Older people's knowledge will help, but depends how those older people impart that knowledge. And that's the key to it. I think that every young person needs to know what, what their roots are, what their history is. That's what makes us what we are. Rather than creating a prejudice in our children's mind, we need to have proper perspective. And I don't know how many people who are carrying this baggage will be able to become objective about it and talk about it in a historical context rather than making it too personal. One of the things which I think very positive is having Black History Month. Every year we have Black History Month. And if a lot more white people went and saw those exhibitions and participated in Black culture, Black music, then one of the things will be raising awareness that way. Particularly with children, the here and now is all it's ever been. And I think so many people have got great bits of wisdom to share with the children from, from their real life, from their own experiences that really will make the children think a bit deeper about perhaps the issues and problems that they might have now in society today and, and may realise that, yeah, we can, we can solve things and, and there are answers to a lot of the issues that we've got. We have to go to the universities and colleges so that all these aspects of equality, fairness and behaviour and environmental issues are fully covered. I think it is very necessary for the older people to have gatherings, different gatherings and occasions where they can entertain young people, to talk to these young people about our exp how we were brought up and our experiences. Older people and the younger people have got to be associated and then it will help to break down some barrier. What we need, it's a movement that is young people's led. And they use older people like us as a frame of reference.